Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Huey. I hope you guys stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell notification down there to get notified and every time I upload a video, and also share this video to anyone who loves makeup and skincare. So today I'll be doing a eyeshadow look for you guys, and it's this look right here that I just did. It's really simple, you guys, but however, it can get really, really messy because it is a black eyeshadow, um, smoky eye look, and I'll be using the Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette right here you guys uh, this palette has been out for a while now but I've just you know been picking it up again and you know, like you know just experimenting with colors and makeup now that I have more time on my hand so if you want to see how I did this beautiful sultry seductive mysterious makeup look then please continue to watch all right you guys so my base color I'm going to use is this black color right here called black market right here and this palette right here, you guys, has a lot of fallout, so make sure you be extremely careful when you apply the colors. And I'm just going to take this brush here, this uh, MAC 239, and I'm just going to lightly build up the black color. And just going to where my eye socket is, just like this. Once I got my uh, base color on there, I'm going to smoke it out and I'm going to be using the color Smolder right here to smoke it out. It is kind of like a uh, metallic -y purple color. It's really, really pretty. And all you do is just smoke out the harsh lines and just wing it out a little. Oh, and to smoke it out, I'm using the MAC 217 brush. I'm really, really loving this brush, you guys. It just blends uh, shadows so seamlessly, so easy to use. So once you have this glob of color on your eyes right here, you really want to blend it out really well. So I'll be using the MAC 286S brush right here, and I'll be using the color Combust right here to kind of really smoke everything out and make sure there's no harsh edges. And it's really important for you to take time blending it out because usually sometimes, like, you know, black smoky eye can give you the effect of a black eye and we don't want that. So as you can see here, I accidentally blend this too much upwards so I went over and also brought the shadow up over here as well to even everything out. Sometimes I'm guilty of forgetting to even everything out but I'm getting better at it. Next, I'll be taking the MAC uh, pencil brush, the 219 brush, and I'll go in with the Black Market color once again, and I will start doing the under eye right here. And right here, you have to be really careful because fallouts can get everywhere. Also, remember to put it on your upper lash line too. Next, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Infinite Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Cold Noir. And I'm just going to align my eyes and I'm just going to put it above the lash line a little bit and then later you will blend this out and smoke it out and put it in the bottom as well. So now to blend out the eyeliner I'm going to take the MAC 219 brush again and now I will just smoke it out and evenly distribute the eyeliner. Now to highlight my inner corner, I'll be taking the color High and Armor right here and I'm going to be mixing those two together and put it in the inner corner. So now when you kind of have like, you know, your smoky eye down, sometimes when you blend out the color, you know, the black isn't like as deep anymore. So at this point, you can go back in and add more of the darker colors wherever that's needed. Now to highlight underneath my brow bone, I'll be using the color high right here, the first color. And then just highlight underneath the brow bone to just really bring out uh, the depth. As you can see, highlighting the brow bone really does bring out the dimension. At first, I didn't do it, so now I, you know, added it in and I feel like it's going to make the look a lot more better and dramatic, as you can see. So as for mascara, I'll be using the Lancome Monsieur Big in the color Big is the new black. I really, really love this mascara because it really does give great volume to the lashes and I just love the brush. 
So now you can go ahead and clean up any fallouts that you may have. I'll be using the Chanel Laton Ultra Tenu in the color 40 Beige to clean up any of uh, the excess shadow that had fallen. And uh, while you're doing this, you can use this to really, really edge out uh, and just clean up uh, the eyeshadow look and make it more cat eye. So to brighten underneath my eyes a little bit more because, you know, the black eyeshadow was really pigmented. So I'll be using the Cleta Paul um, concealer right here in the color Mocha. And I'm just going to brighten underneath my eyes. And that's all that I need, you guys. This concealer is absolutely amazing. It is well worth it, you guys. If you guys don't have this Cleta Paul concealer, definitely go ahead and get it, you guys. It's so creamy. It blends in very, very nicely. And it does not crease or, you know, um, makes your wrinkles like more noticeable. It's just perfect for acne, for dark circles, for pretty much like concealing anything. And I'll be using the Estee Lauder Concealer Brush to uh, blend out uh, the concealer. Alright you guys, so this is the eye look right here. I'm really loving the result. So I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look right here. I hope you guys like it. If you guys do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell notification down there to get notified and every time I upload a video, and also share this video to anyone who loves skincare and makeup. So until next time, bye!